My character artist is literally taking for fucking ever to get back to me on some character art and it's making me crazy. I think I paid her for this, oh my god, forever ago, like, end of January and I haven't gotten anything but a sketch, so that's a little annoying. She's taking care of her niece, so it's like I don't want to be super, I don't want to be like a dick about it, but at the same time, my background artist has gotten me art like bang, like every two weeks she's completing something, so it's kind of annoying to have like a month and a half go by and still be waiting on important character art, like it's not... It's not like a side character, it's important. I need this shit done. I've been kind of like working some of my own childhood memories into the game. When I was younger, when I was growing up, my mom was a paramedic. So every three days she would have to leave at like six in the morning to go to work and she would be gone for 24 hours. And every morning I remember her coming in and I always remembered the sound of her uniform because they have to wear, it's a really, it's not, I don't know, it's not like a canvas material, but it's a very thick material they have to wear because I think it's like fire resistant or something, I don't remember. I remember hearing her uniform and her, and her keys and I could smell her hairspray and her makeup and she'd give me a kiss and she'd say, bye bye baby. And it's like little things like that you don't realize you miss when you think about moving out. Like you're gonna miss your parents cooking, you're gonna miss someone doing your laundry. I mostly miss the little shit like that. And how my dad, when I was younger, he would always, um, when it was cold out, because we're Floridians, so we don't handle cold very well, but there were always a couple weeks at the end of the year where it'd get really cold. So my dad would wake up every morning, go out to the car, turn the car on, and he would make sure the heat was on in the house, so by the time we woke up and we had to leave, the car would already be warm, and so we didn't have to sit in a freezing car with leather seats, which felt like ice. So it's little things like that that I'm trying to work into the story to make it more, I guess, realistic, more relatable. But it also is making me remember how much I miss my fucking parents. It's taking its toll on me. It's it's quite taxing because now I am getting incredibly homesick. I can't talk too much about the story and the art because that is stuff that is primarily reserved for patrons and future Kickstarter backers. Right now we just get to talk about the development, I guess. I'm still thinking about if we can take this to PAX. Like specifically, um, Pack South because I want to release the game on Father's Day because it's a story about a father raising his child and falling in love with someone. So if I want to release the game on Father's Day, then it would make sense to go to or take the game to Pack South, which is in January. So we'll see how that goes. You know what is the fucking worst other than my hair right now? Hiring artists from DeviantArt. I posted a job listing for the character artist because it's been two months since I assigned a project to my character artist. She has not gotten back to me in like two weeks since I last emailed her and I'm just kind of like preparing for the worst. So I posted a DeviantArt looking for a new character artist and in the job listing I specifically said do not contact me here because I hate contacting people through DeviantArt and the fact of the matter is if you cannot follow one single instruction regarding applying for a job. Why would I expect you to follow any others? And then there are a lot of artists who are like, okay, this person specifically requested for artists that can do an anime style. I'm gonna submit my art anyways, even though it doesn't fall under this criteria. Like, just because you're good does not mean that I'm going to change my vision for the game. It's like if you were to apply for a community manager position, right? And you fill out your resume, and in your cover letter you say, I have no experience in community management whatsoever. In fact, I don't even know how to use Snapchat, and TweetDeck is something I've never heard of before. But I have five years of experience as a quality assurance tester. Hire me. It's like, what? <laughs> what? What the fuck are you doing? Like, really? I just don't understand what's going through these people's heads because it's very clear, it's very obvious that they're reading everything because they read, they include little tidbits from like the end and from the middle, from the uh, from the job listing, and it's just like, 
they just don't care. I don't know, but it's starting to get on my nerves because this happens literally every single time I post a DeviantArt. So I have been creating kind of a rough draft of what I need a CG to look like. When talking to my artist, my character artist gets a little bit of free reign because ultimately, I know this has, this is a lot of work for her to create CGs and I know she'd have a little more fun if she had a little more free reign. So I try not to give her too much direction like I do with uh, my background artist where I, cre <laughs> I create backgrounds in The Sims and I just kind of send them to her and I'm like, you can customize this however you want, but this is kind of what I want. I am before. Like, again, like with everything else, if it's a rough draft, I'm not gonna care too much about anatomy. I'm going more for just getting my idea across. And when I initially start drawing someone, I draw their body and I draw the clothes around it. <laughs> so that's why this looks, why his legs look a little smaller than the rest of his body. Anyways, I don't know if I wanna do it from the side or if I wanna do it like with the camera over here and it's looking over his shoulder or if I want to take the angle from the bottom so that the camera's kind of down here, like right smack dab in the middle. So I feel like if we did it from the bottom, it would look a little more dramatic. Crying scenes, really dramatic scenes, it's always like camera down looking up at the character as like their tears are falling on the ground or something, but I mean his, his face would probably be hidden in her shoulder anyways, so you wouldn't be like seeing the tears anyways. And then this would be mostly focusing on her facial expression. I just, I don't know where I want to go with this. All right, so like I said, I do a lot of building through The Sims. And I think I accidentally deleted a save file because this was all, like, very different. <laughs> See, this is what it currently looks like right now, which is the original build of the apartment. And I changed it completely, like, I redid the kitchen, I even added a little toddler seat, and like, this is the living room. Granted, like, as you can see, I took screenshots, and you know what's funny? I put so much fucking work into like, the teeny tiny little baby details, like, down to the cabinets that were used, and chances are, we're going to be having the, um, the camera coming in somewhere over here, so for most of the kitchen, you're not even gonna fucking see anything. <laughs> Oh my god. Also, we have like 25,000 words written for the game already. So that's decent progress. That's like an eighth of the game has been written, I believe. My math's correct because I want it to be roughly 200,000 words, which I know is a lot. <laughs> um, that's a relatively long script for a game that is going to have a relatively linear story, but. I'm excited. I like long game. I'm not really thrilled about visual novels that are short.